They say that when you die, your life flashes before your eyes. You'll hear about heaven and the wondrous beings known as angels. You'll hear of hell and the twisted, evil, murderous demons that dwell there. You might even be told of purgatory, the realm of death and judgment, forever balanced between heaven and hell. You probably won't hear about the Ring of the Slightly Damned, though. It's a little slice of hell, far removed from the suffering and torment, deserted but for souls who are only very slightly damned. Souls like Rhea Snaketail, deceased. You'd think that death would be the end of the excitement, but for Rhea, the real adventure is still only just beginning. Assigned to Bawaro, the purple demon who is thicker than mud. Bossed around by Sakido, Bawaro's older sister and full-time brooding grouch, and occasionally visited by death himself. Rhea may not be within Hell's massive gates, but she sure is in for a hell of a lot of trouble. Especially today. Salutations, Rhea. Where is Buaro? Hello, Death. Oh, he's off rearranging his rock collection. He made a big mountain of him just so we could show it off before I arrived. I guess he wanted to make a good impression or something. It's kind of cute in a weird moronic way. Oh, how adorable. You two are becoming such good friends. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Death. Hello, Buaro. Are you well? Thaddeus says hi too! Hey Death, I was wondering about something. Why don't I need to eat anymore? And what about Buaro? I've never seen him eat anything at all in all the time I've been here, unless he's been eating rocks. It is quite simple, really. You do not starve because you are not a spirit in harsh punishment. Souls more damned than you starve, thirst, and suffer from their cause of death constantly. Your wound would hurt, too, if you lived in hell. Hmm. And as for demons, Buaro, huh? spit that out. As natural residents of hell, they are protected by the power of Sindel. They never have to eat or drink, although some demons do regardless. <laughs> Buaro, give me that rock. The same is true for angels that reside in heaven with Gaia. I am glad to see you are well, but I must go now. Try not to eat any more rocks, okay, Buaro? Okay. What? What is that light? Huh? You mean that thing isn't normal? I've already seen it at least once since I arrived. It is most definitely not normal, and I am going to find out exactly what is going on. Hey, wait a sec! Death! What's the rush? So great was Death's anger, he reached the gates of hell in moments. Cerberus, I demand you tell me what that bright light was. If you do not, I will find out for myself in hell. Who are you to demand such things from us? We are not afraid of a pathetic creature such as yourself. We deny any knowledge of this light of which you speak. But rest assured, you will not be getting into hell on our watch. Has the responsibility of being the Reaper caused you to forget our deal so soon? Or perhaps you have underestimated our intelligence. We are not as naive as you think. We know where she is, and we will not hesitate to strike. You may be death, but you are not our master. Be gone, and know your place. And for reasons known only to himself, Death withdrew, furious. Man, Death seemed pretty upset when he left. What's so bad about a light? Everyone is upset. Huh? Iratu and Sakido, and now even Death. They're all unhappy. Yeesh, maybe I should actually try to cheer Buaro up. Hey Buaro, wanna play a game? Uh, okay. Ready? Ready for playing catch with Thaddeus? It's catch! How could I not be ready? Here we go! I mean, really, you'd have to be even slower than Buaro to- Wait, what the- Ow! 
Well, that's gonna be a bloody nose. Oh, I'm done for now. Hey, Ray. Man, why do I even bother? Where are you going? But now I'm kind of bored. I wonder what there is to do. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that the rock where Buaro keeps all his personal junk? Ah, ugh, ugh, this is too heavy for me to lift. Ooh, I know. Aha, here we go. Normally I'd feel guilty about going through someone's stuff without permission, but after all the crap he's put me through. Now, let's see what's in this book. Huh? What language is this written in? I can't read a word of it. Hell, I don't even know if I'm holding the book upside down. Rhea, I'm sorry that Thaddeus hit you in the face. I know she didn't mean it, and I hope you're not too mad at us. Nah, I'm okay now that my nose stopped bleeding. By the way, what language is this? I can't read anything written in this book of yours. Hey, that's my stuff! You can't just... Wait, you can't read it at all? Nope, not a word. Can you understand it? No. What a waste of time. This thing is worthless. Oh well, at least I found that shiny white feather you like so much again. Hey, give it back! <laughs> you gotta be faster than that hey. to catch me! Uh, Rhea, give it back. Jeez, I used to play yeah. keep away like this all the time with my nest siblings, and you're even worse than my buddy Ramirez. And he was asleep half the time. I feel bad for you, so stand up and I'll tell you what. I'll give you the chance to trade me for your precious feather. I don't want any old rocks or bones. I want something that looks like it's actually worth something. I'll take your star necklace. Huh? But... No? Well, I'll help myself to it anyway. Ha <laughs> ha, too slow again. Wait. God Wait. damn it, is he crying? Wait. Just when I was starting to have fun. Uh. Ah! But, Buaro? Ah! Hmm? Iratsu? No, it couldn't be. I guess it wouldn't hurt to check on them. Hopefully neither of them have done anything stupid. Wait. Is that blood? Rhea? She's dead. It's just like before. No, I can't think about that. Things have changed. I have the sun. I have to stay calm. <sighs> I guess he heard me. Buaro was horribly transformed. Burning red eyes shone from a head framed in fangs. His horns reached and curved, his tail burnt ferociously. His limbs were stretched and ended in massive, razor-sharp claws. He reared back and breathed an enormous count of flame at Sakida. Ugh. That was too close. It's been a while since I've had to use an attack like this. I need to make sure I don't kill him. Ah! I'm out of practice. That took more out of me than I thought it would. What do I do now? If I leave Buar the way he is, he'll die from exhaustion, but... What can I do? Buar will die, no matter what I do. But I'm not about to let him kill me. The necklace came loose. Wait. Yes! That must be what his does. Buara must go berserk without his. And the only one who could have taken it is Rhea. If I can get it back, maybe I can save him. The best way to get back to her is by flying. Sorry, Buara, but we'll finish this later. Looks like I was right. It's covered in blood. Here he comes. It's now or never. So I died. Again. Now what? Wait. I see something. Is someone standing over me? It's only me. You can relax now. Hey, wait. Why am I alive? Well... Since I'm in hell, I guess I'm still dead. But still... Damn souls such as yourself can die in hell, but are always back to normal by the next morning. It's so they can be tortured to death repeatedly. The same is not true for demons, however. 
For us, death is permanent, and there is no afterlife for demons. That's sick. But where's Buaro? And why did he go all crazy psycho on me? He's probably crying by himself somewhere. He was very... distressed when I told him that he murdered you. As for his berserk behavior yesterday, in times of extreme anger, stress, and danger, demons can go into a blind, uncontrollable rage. Their bodies are pushed to their extreme limits, and makes them very powerful. However, they lose all thoughts of self-preservation and kill anything and everything in their way until they die of exhaustion. Buaro is a special case. He was born in that nightmarish state. The idiot you know is not the real Buaro. The only thing that keeps him sane is the star he wears around his neck. The very one that you took from him, for whatever reason. Wow. Does that sun pen that you're wearing do the same? Oh, I forgot I had this out. No, my pendant is... different from Buaro's. Hey, when Buaro was berserk, he killed me instantly. If you say he's feeling regretful, then that means he's sane now, right? How did you manage to calm him down without being ripped up? Unlike Buaro, I haven't always lived out in this room. I was once one of the strongest wind warriors in hell until I deserted my kind and moved out to this abandoned place for personal reasons. Besides that, Buwaro has lived alone almost all his life. He's never trained for any sort of combat. Even if being berserk makes a demon much stronger, he can only do so much with a weak body. Jeez, this is a lot to take in all at once. So, Sakido, what do you think the meaning of life is? Why are you asking me? Well... <laughs> You just seem to have an answer for everything. It's... it's a joke. I have lived a horrible life of sorrow and pain. For me, life is full of misery. Well, thanks, Captain Killjoy. This place is so depressing it could drive a puppy to suicide. So, demons really don't come back when they die? If we did, there would be many veterans from the war in hell right now. You mean the war between heaven and hell really happened? Wow. Oh, well. I was kind of looking forward to killing Buaro. Come here. I'll fly you back to the ring. You should probably talk to Buaro. Oh, joy. Hmph. Huh. I mean, Buaro was the one who killed me, after all. Why is Sakudo making me make up with him? I swear, this place is totally fu- Wait a sec. Hey, Sakudo, can we stop here? I think I see something. Yes, that's it. This is the book Buaro and I fought over. The one we couldn't read. Let me see it. It still has the feather in it. I put it back when I was still just messing around with Buaro. Hmm. This is written in the language of angels, but I can make it out. I'll take the book with me, since you have no use for it. W wait Can I take the feather? Buaro adores it. I suppose that's alright. Thanks. Buaro shouldn't be far from here. I'm going back. What the- Sakido! Damn, she's fast. Looks like I'm walking. Why did I think of taking back the feather? I don't know Buaro anything, especially after what he did. Then again, maybe this death was somewhat my fault, just like last time. Well, there he is. He looks normal. Hey, Buaro, you little freak! If you thought it was me before, you're in for a real surprise! Don't think I'm gonna let you off easy after you killed me! I didn't mean to, but... I'm sorry! Uh, what? Jeez, and I was trying to be lighthearted about it. Oh, no. Yeah! Buaro is so upset. What did you do? One explanation later. Oh, I see. Buaro's star is indeed what keeps him sane. Then why didn't you tell me? Oh, well, you see, I... Well, it has been a long time since... Wait, who's that? Hmm? Oh, that is Beauregard Franken. He was a very successful moneylender, but his greed ruined the lives of many who were too poor to pay back their loans. He charged astronomical fees and interest rates, and hid them in clauses and jargon. Luckily for the living, 
He has been dead for years from food poisoning. He would have been here earlier and not soaking wet if he had just paid his fare like I asked him to. Humans bring money with them too? Yes, but not in their ears like Jakai. I told you, Reaper. I haven't got any money for you to collect. Oh, really? What do you call these, then? Put down my money, you filthy pack rat. What'd you call me? Enough! We have to get going now. You too, Rhea, come with me. What? Why? What did I do? With Buwaro as he is now, I imagine you two will not be spending any time together. I cannot have you alone without a demon supervisor, so I am assigning you to someone else in the meantime. Oh, okay. I guess it can't be helped. How bad could this other demon be, anyway? <sighs> oh, yeah. Positive thinking made me forget all about you. In light of the current situation, you must supervise Rhea now, Sakido. I take it this means Buwaro is still upset? Yes, I am afraid so. Um, Buwaro is a demon. Are you trying to tell me that demons are just misunderstood and that the children of Sindel are happy, warm, good people? Uh, no offense, Sakido. Buwaro is different. Even for a demon, being evil is just as much a choice as it is instinct. I've seen and done many horrors in hell that can never be forgiven, but he is innocent. In all aspects of normal demon behavior, Buwaro is a failure. He would never intentionally kill anyone. If you do not want to stay with Sakido, you should make up with Buwaro. You will be staying here for quite some time. What about reincarnation? I do not have the power to reincarnate you. No! Death had to depart soon afterwards, leaving a very upset Rhea in the care of a very irritated Sakido. I... I can't believe this! Trapped for eternity with a family of emotionally unstable demons! You know, Rhea, I... admire your friendship with Buwaro. Huh? I know just how difficult it is to get along with him. Oh, yeah? How would you know when you spend all your time hiding up here? Well, when I came back from hell, I... failed at being a good sister for him. As a demon, it's odd for me to try and be close to him as a sister, but... I... I suppose I feel obligated to try. I feel guilty. Demons aren't supposed to feel bad for anyone. But Iratu and I left him alone in this ring for many, many years. Part of the reason I left Hell was because I felt I owed it to Buwaro for abandoning him. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, I didn't expect Buwaro to remember me, and he didn't. So I brought gifts to help establish a friendship. My old coat, with the holes in the back for my wings sewn up, and a pair of valuable earrings. He had somehow torn up his right ear, so I simply pierced his left one. I tried to get along, but I was... and he was... well, we were different. In addition, I remembered that Buwara was extremely prone to going berserk, but it had been too long for me to remember what it was exactly that triggered it. I couldn't stand being around Buwaro, so for the safety of both of us, I decided to stay up here. Wow. But don't you get really lonely? Sometimes. But it isn't so bad. I have a hobby now. Death set me up with, um, a pen pal from Purgatory a while ago. We've become good friends. He's a magnificent poet. And he even gave me my bonsai tree. He inspired me to write my own poems. Here, read this one. I composed this haiku to help me when I'm feeling very depressed. Oh man, poetry from her? I have a bad feeling about this. My heart beats slowly. Never before have I seen... Puppies ride rainbows. Oh my freaking god. Well... What do you think? Well... And that is how Rhea died. Again. Sakido, what have you done? Look at yourself, you're a monster. You disgust me. I cannot stay. 
Darius, don't go. Please don't leave me. Take care of Bawara. Darius! Darius! Sakido! <gasps> Are you okay? I woke up and heard you yelling. Nightmare. It's nothing. Then who the heck is Darius? Whoa! Who told you that name? Y y you did! In your sleep! Oh. Right. By the way, s sorry about yesterday. Whatever. I'm kind of getting used to dying. Anyway, about that nightmare. Want to tell me about it? Talking might make you feel a lot better. And maybe less homicidal. No. Oh, come on. Look, I'll tell you my dream first. I have the same one every night. I always dream of how I died. I'm by the dry riverbed when I see my friend Ramirez. Did he kill you? No way. He was behind me, and I was stabbed in the chest. See? Here's the wound. I never saw who it was that stabbed me. Ramirez and I were best friends. He'd never do this. You know, I haven't told her Shambuaro any of this. I'm ashamed of my past. Besides, seeing this might make the idiot cry or something. Do you miss him at all? Your friend, I mean. They're both my friends, but yeah, I miss Ramirez a lot. I'm sorry for bringing it up. It's no one's fault but my own for being here. I think the same thing about myself. So, the only demons here are you and Buaro. Where are your parents? Dead. Gone. Who knows? I never knew them. So you're like me. Jakai custom makes it so kids never know who their moms and dads are. But as a result, we have lots of siblings. Really? Oh yeah. A generation of Jakai kids will grow up together, but none of us are really related by blood. Jakai are born about every 10 years, so I have a bunch of older brothers and sisters, and a bunch of younger ones. I guess I better get used to being in such a lonely place, since I'll be here for a while. Rhea, you're used to having younger brothers. Can you be a big sister to Bawaro in my place? Huh? Why are you asking me? You're his real sister. Sure, he's a pain, but you know about the star now, and he adores you. Don't you like Bawaro at all? Of course I care for Bawaro. He's like... he is my brother. I made a promise a long time ago to make sure he was well taken care of. I don't have the patience to be with him all the time now, but... Huh. That light again. Rhea, I feel I can trust you to take care of him. Do this for me, and I swear, I will make it up to you. <sighs> you know, my conscience has really been bothering me lately. I think I want to go try making up with Buaro. You should probably come too, Sakido. Why? Why not? I'm sure he'd like it. Fine. But first, here's Buaro's book. I'm finished with it. It was an angelic, wasn't it? How could you read it? And what was in it, anyway? Maybe one of these days I'll tell you. There's Buaro over there, looking at one of his rocks. Gee, he's not too hard to find at all, is he? H hey Buaro! Sakido and I came to see you! Ow, fuck! Nice throw. Ah! Why am I here again? Cause misery loves company. <sighs> hey, Buaro! Don't feel bad. I'm not mad at you for killing me or impaling me. I'm smiling, see? You can come out from behind the rock now. B but I, I did all those mean things. My God, being in this place for so long is maybe this desperate for a friend. You don't like me at all, huh? <laughs> you won't even tell me how you died. What? Where the hell did that come from? I wouldn't be too surprised if death was in on this. Oh well. Guess I'll just tell him. You want to know how I died? Fine, no problem. I'll tell you. We're friends, right? <laughs> really? Really? Wait, you're my friend now? It's your fault I'm here. Whatever. Anyway, unlike most Jakai, I wasn't very religious. Gaia, Sindel, the Twelve Guardians, I was a skeptic. The day I died was the day my village was celebrating the Wind Guardian, Fuzenro the Bat. It revolved around eating lots of food, a ceremonial dance, 
and paying tribute to a fancy statue of the Guardian that had been in the village for generations. Even though it had come to be my turn to be at the center of the dance, I couldn't have cared less about it. One of the village leaders who was always on my ass was chewing me out more than usual because of my disinterest. I got mad and didn't think. She went ballistic over me breaking the sacred statue, cursing me and threatening exile. So, I took her up on her threat. I left the village hastily, filled with fury and sadness. Only one person tried to stop me. He was my best friend, Ramirez Blood Eyes. I was stubborn, and I told him to leave me alone. Maybe if I had listened to him. It happened so fast, I didn't even see who killed me. That's it? What do you mean, that's it? That was hard for me to tell you. I mean, I pissed off the village pretty badly for breaking the statue. Could it be that someone I knew killed me? Maybe everyone is glad I'm dead. Oh, don't talk like that, Rhea. I'm sure your friends miss you a lot. Especially Ramirez. And me! Yeah, put me down! I missed you! Can we still be friends? Of course! I, uh, missed you too. Oh yeah, I think Sakuto is feeling left out. Why don't you go give her a great big hug, Buaro? Okay! Uh, Buaro, I... Sakido is actually smiling. That's creepy. Now that you two are reunited, I suppose I should head back. Aww. Why do you always have to go, Sakido? Hey, I know. Why don't you come by once in a while just to visit for fun? I mean, if Death himself can take time off from his job to hang out with us. You know, I think I'll take you up on your offer. Thank you. Rhea, do you want to play catch? I could go get Thaddeus. Why the hell not? It sure beats listening to poetry. Poetry? I think I ate one of those before. Buaro, let's hope that you're one of a kind. Sakido kept her word and visited Buaro and Rhea often. At first the trips were rare, but as time went on, she came by even more often than death. Who was delighted to see that the siblings and Rhea were getting along better than ever before. Despite living in such a barren, empty place, the three tried their best to entertain themselves. Mostly to get him to shut up, Rhea would try to play catch with Buaro and Thaddeus, which rarely ended well. Sakido sometimes brought poetry to share. No! They're from my pen pal. Phew! Thank God! <sighs> Sorry. This is not the place where butterflies come to die. Where trees and flowers wither, or where rain darkens the sky. A land of hills all painted red, and golden azure is here instead. Carved long ago by a winding stream, beneath a sunset from a dream. Flowers cover everything, Gaia's heart upon the ground. Waving in her steady breath, shine with dew without a sound. Eagles glide through clouds above, kept aloft by a goddess's love. I wish that I could show you this, the land of the creator's kiss. Despite the bad grammar, I'm feeling kind of homesick. But death told me I can't leave. I don't know what half of those things were, but they all sounded really pretty. Yes. <sighs> I'd give nearly anything just for the chance for us to see what my friend saw when he was alive. Weeks passed, and although all seemed well in the Ring of the Slightly Damned, a certain wind demon only grew more and more restless. I'm getting a little concerned about your sister, Buaro. Maybe my and Thaddeus' new trick can cheer her up. Look, Sakido, look! Ah! Thaddeus! What happened to the loop-de-loops we practiced? Rhea. I need to talk to you. If it's about your brother being a moron, believe me, I know. Rhea, please. This is important. Hmm. Looks like Sakido and Rhea are having a girl talk. What do you girls talk about anyway, Thaddeus? And by the way, I've been meaning to ask you for a while, but are those real? I mean, they're way bigger than Rhea's. Hey, don't get mad. I was just asking. What? Why are you telling me something like that? Do you think you might- Calm down. 
It's only a precaution. I don't know for sure what might happen. Sakido, I know what you're trying to do, and I appreciate it. But if it's going to be that risky, maybe we shouldn't- I've been thinking about this before you even came here. My decision is final. I'm willing to take the chance. I'm going to leave now, Buwaro. Bye-bye! Come back soon, Kay? I'll try my best. Rhea, don't forget the book for when I come back, and tell him about what we're going to do. Rhea explained Sakido's plan to Buwaro quickly, and they both waited anxiously for her return. They didn't have to wait long. Rhea, look! Sakido's back! And she looks hurt! <laughs> Sakido, are you alright? What happened? I don't think we should try and leave when you're hurt. For once, I agree with him. This isn't just crazy, it's stupid. What makes you think we can pull this off when- Listen to me. <sighs> we either go now or we don't go at all. It's now or never. I was an elite warrior in hell for no reason. I've suffered much worse. I know I... We can pull this off. If we don't leave now, we'll never have another chance. I'm going whether you want to come with me or not. What is your decision? <laughs> Sakido, am I going crazy? Or is that Cerberus eating the dirt down there? <sighs> Only for a short time. There it is, the Pillar of Light. I can't believe this. Escaping from hell? Me? I'm a little excited, but this is all so absurd. It's... it's too easy. <gasps> too late, Sakido noticed the incoming attack. Gotcha! Uh -huh. Surprised and injured, Sakido was unable to hold on to Rei and Buwara. Yeah. Oh, it's that crazy bitch, Sakido. She must be trying to stop the Ascension! Kill them! Uh -huh. uh hold... Uh Buwara! I see. So it really did end up this way. So be it. No! Laurel, look out! Run! She'll kill you! Sakido? Buaro's pendant? Sakido? Look at oh! Sir, Sakido is too powerful. She's escaping into the light of ascension. She will not be leaving alive. This is a holy arrow. And I never miss. <laughs> oh, my head. Where am I? Oh, yeah. I remember now. Sakido went berserk and attacked Buaro. But we managed to get into that light. And then... Wait, this place, this is the cemetery of my village, and this, this is my grave. From the looks of it, we came through it somehow. But then we're in Buaro and Saki, so, oh no. Rhea, Sakido, she won't wake up. I, I keep trying, but she won't, I, I think she, Come back, right? Sakura will wake up later, right? Buaro, she, your sister. Sakura can't ever wake up. But, but she has to. Y you did. Why? Why not? I'm sorry, but she told me herself. Demons don't come back. Death is. No. Oh no, Buaro. There, just go ahead and cry it all out. It's okay. I'm here with you. I'll keep my promise, Sakido. I'll be his big sister for you from now on. Sakido deserved a proper burial. I took it upon myself to expand my grave. I couldn't bear to ask Buaro to help me. He was completely crushed by the loss of his sister. I felt awful too, but I owed it to Sakido to see that she was put to rest. Sakido requested that I give Buara her sun pendant should anything happen to her the day before we left. All he did was stare at it as soon as I gave it to him. Sakido looked so peaceful in her grave, but it didn't make it any easier to leave her behind after she had tried so hard to see the world outside hell. 
She deserved more than we could give her. She told me that demons die permanently, and that there is no afterlife for their kind. But yet, I pulled out the coin I had taken from Beauregard Franken and placed it in her ear, as was Jakai Dedrishan at a loved one's death. Despite the facts I was told, I felt it was the right thing to do. I would have let Buaro mourn over his sister's grave longer, but the day was ending, and we had a ways to walk. They left together, their escape from hell marred by tragic loss. In the silent graveyard, if you know where to look, you will find Rhea's old grave, once again marked by freshly turned earth. The name Rhea Snake Tail is scribbled out, and instead, there is only a single word carved below that. Sakido. But that was not the end of Rhea and Buwaro's story. Indeed, new friends and great challenges lay only just ahead. 